It's Preston here at the Automation 2017 show. I'm here with Josh from Soft Robotics. He is the director of R&D. Josh, how's the trade show been treating you? Fantastic. Booth's been swamped, lots of great customers, lots of great applications. So I heard that we get the opportunity for you to walk us through a demo, kind of talk about your company and talk about collaborative robots in general and how you guys are really changing that space with what you're doing. So what we build is soft robotic gripping systems. At its core are these little guys. They're the soft robotic actuator. And what's really interesting about them is it allows you to get the grip that you would expect from human fingers, but in a very, very simple and robust construct that's appropriate for industrial automation. So let me show you how this works. Yeah, so please do. You just pass air into the system, that provides closing of the fingers, that gives you your, your gripping force, and then vacuum to curl them away when you want to place an item. So let me just push this button here. So you can kind of see that when I push this button, it inflates, it bends the accordions forward, you get your grip. And what's really remarkable is that's a large grip, that's a small grip, and it finds that grip all by itself. There are no sensors in here. Wow. It's through the patterning of the material and the composites that we use that this mechanical structure naturally finds the correct grip. No closed loop sensing. And what that means for you is that you don't end up spending a lot of time doing complex integrations. You know, normally, if you had a robotic hand like that in industry, it looks more like a Terminator hand. It has tactile sensors. And those are great devices, but they're really hard to use. It's, it takes a lot of time to integrate them. So if you're trying to use them as part of a factory, you know, it, it's either going to be impossible to deliver that solution, or it's going to take a lot of time, and it's going to take a lot of money. So this is a quick plug, plug and play system. The other thing you notice from a collaborative standpoint is it doesn't hurt you. I was just going to say, that thing closes pretty fast. They feel soft, but your hand's OK. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> fine. And it is very quick. So this will close and open four times a second. Wow. So in industrial applications, you know, people want to do 60 picks per minute, we can do that. You want to do 100 picks per minute, we can do that. It moves at industrial speeds. And so there's also several other pieces of this solution that are interesting. So everything about it's plug and play. So we start off here with our control box. Okay. So this is what supplies air and vacuum to the gripper. As far as powering it up, you uh, plug it into your robot controller. Any industrial robot, you give it 24 volts and you give it uh, a digital I.O. communication line to your robot controller and it can command the use of this box. The box has programmed into it eight different settings that you can set yourself in our software that allows you to go through different gripping profiles. So let's say you want to run one product for an hour and then you want to switch over to another product quickly. You can then just command a different setting on the box that you pre-programmed and it'll have a new grip profile that handles that product. And all of the smarts inside this box yeah. is managed by this board over here. So this is our own developed microcomputer that allows you to use these pneumatics in a way that produces one millimeter reproducibility and gripping and very, very fast gripper response times. Wow. All, all developed by us. Uh, beyond that, besides giving it electrical power and communication, you just hook it up to your building's house air and it has all the air that it needs and it manages the generation of the appropriate grip force from that air and the appropriate vacuum all within the system. That's impressive. So, you said plug and play, but you also said software. And for some people, you know, that might sound a little too technical. How easy it is to get, how easy is it to well, get started? Let's take a look over here. Let's see. So, uh, you know, for example, getting started, let's say on a UR collaborative robot, it takes me about five minutes to get it all set up and running. So, lightning, lightning fast. Over here, we have um, our software interface. So I mentioned that there are eight programmable slots in here. So what you do is, let's say I want to give a pre-programmed slot, slot uh, first slot. So that is the first slot on the controller. And I want it to have, this is you know the smallest amount of grip force, the largest amount of grip force. Okay, so I want to make this a, you know, a nice you know, intermediate grip application. And I want to do an intermediate amount of release of the fingers. I save that profile. And now that's baked into the controller. So you can take a look over here. Let me see what that looks like. So this is now commanding slot zero. Uh, normally, you know, in order to command something, that would just be a digital word from your robot controller. Uh, this is uh, sending out those words. So push the button. That's a nice gentle grip. Let's say for that particular programming slot, I want a bit more heft. You know, I could just up the force. Save that. 
Now that's a little bit more grip force. So now I've set a single gripping profile within the system. I can now toggle through all eight and set in several different grips, all eight grips, each one designed to go after a particular product, and that's it. Now it's baked into the controller, the robot can command those gripping profiles and you're done. If you ever want to change those gripping profiles, just have one of your applications engineers just hook up with USB, you know, walk along with a laptop, plug in with USB, redo these settings, takes a couple of seconds and you're done.